What's going on guys, it's Yuval here and in this video I want to show you a few simple music video lighting setups that are really easy to create and are also cheap. For these setups I'm mainly going to use the Godox SL60 which is a fairly cheap LED light and also another small LED light that I got off Amazon. Now these lights are daylight temperature lights which basically means the light they output is white. Now RGB lights can get really expensive so for this video I decided to use cellophane paper which is obviously very cheap. Now the smarter decision would probably be to use gels, like actual gels that are meant to be used with video lights, because these gels are usually heat resistant and they also output a more accurate color. But for this video I didn't have any so I decided to just go with the cellophane paper, which eventually worked out just fine. So with that out of the way, let's start breaking down the first lighting setup. Just as a side note before we start, we actually shot this whole video in our apartment around midnight and we woke up to a pretty angry letter from our neighbors downstairs so if you're gonna film something in your apartment please make sure you're better neighbors than we are but anyways onto some lighting for our key light here we set up the Godox in a big soft box and taped loose cellophane paper on it this was a good start and it gave us the base look for this scene to add more depth we used this small LED light with a tungsten gel to fill in the shadow side and also give us some color contrast. The warm color temperature also matched nicely with some of the practicals we had on set like this candle and the lighter. For the next scene we kept the same lights but changed the gel from orange to red and we also bumped up the brightness on both lights. This gave us more of a party look with blue and red colors. Only thing missing were people but that's besides the point. So pretty much the same setup and just by changing up the colors we managed to get a new look and a different vibe. Moving on we set up at a different spot in the apartment. I wanted to have a black background this time so I chose this spot where I could have some room to keep my subject far enough from the background. I set up a black bed sheet on the back wall and used the same lights again this time with green and orange gels. The key to getting a perfectly dark background is to control your lights and not have them spill and bounce all over the place. To do that I used another black fabric to block some of the light that was coming out of my key light and was hitting the background. We later changed the colors to red and blue and I was really trying to find a way to make things a little more interesting and then I saw this mirror and I had an idea to try and bounce my key light off of it. I turned the light the other way and into the mirror and started moving it around in different ways which created a pretty nice effect. So that is all for today. I hope this video helped you out and maybe gave you some inspiration to go out and create something. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe. And just before I leave you, my Instagram page is at yuvala96. I upload a lot of my work over there as well as some behind the scenes materials and stories showing you guys what I'm doing, what I'm working on, what is up with my life. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you check it out. It's at yuvala96. But I'll be seeing all of you guys in my next video. Well, today we're gonna shoot a video of me throwing cash in the air. Enjoy. Loading. Lights, please. <laughs> Lights. <laughs> Thank you. Are you ready, guys? <laughs>